I'd love to have you for a guest. But first, let's show that you're the best. Spell this word and then you'll see. My door will open easily. C-A-K-E spells cake. Brilliant, my friend. Please, do come in. Hello, reader. Back again, I see. I'm ready when you are. Here's another scene, and I still need your help. Okay. Store. A fine word for this sentence. Cut. A very proper choice of a word. Hi there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm cutting wood for my store, says Babs. Can I cut wood too? Asks Baby Bear. Sorry, you're not big enough says Babs. I am big enough, says Baby Bear. Hello. That's it! Paint. Excellent choice! Excellent! Hello there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm painting for the show, says Pierre. Can I paint too? Asks Baby Bear. Sorry, you're not big enough, says Pierre. I am big enough, says Baby Bear. Help. Right! Sure. A fine word for this sentence. Hi there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm building a swing, says Matt. Can I help too? Asks Baby Bear. Sure, says Matt. That. A very proper choice of a word. Small. I say, what a good word to use. What a great swing, says Baby Bear. Babs and Pierre walk by. Wow, that swing looks like fun, they say. Can we swing too? Sorry, you're not small enough, say Matt and Baby Bear. Another excellent story. Good work. Stay. Excellent choice. Excellent. Lands. That's it. Matt walks in the desert. The desert is hot. A straw hat helps Matt stay cool. A roadrunner lands on the hat. Hey, why are you on my hat? Says Matt. I need a new home, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Hmm, which word fits in this sentence? 
home. Right! Hat. Hole. Hmm. Not quite. Hole won't do in this sentence. Read the sentence again and pick a different word. Have. A very proper choice of a word. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a desert tortoise. Can you live in a shell like a tortoise? Asks Matt. I do not have a shell, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Find a word on the list that fits into the sentence. Find. I say, what a good word to use. Stay. Excellent choice. Excellent. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a kangaroo rat. Can you stay in a hole like a kangaroo rat? asks Matt. I cannot dig a hole, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Twigs. That's it! Cactus. Right! You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees some twigs on a cactus. Can you live in a nest on a cactus? Asks Matt. I can live in a nest, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my old home. This cactus is my new home. Well done, Rita. I must say that makes a fine story for the show. I can't believe it! They've almost got all the stuff! They can't do this to me! That's not fair! Swing A fine word for this sentence. From I say what a good word to use. Matt and Baby Bear sit by a tree. What do you want to do? Asks Baby Bear. Matt sees a monkey in a tree. Let's swing like monkeys, says Matt. Matt and Baby Bear swing from the trees. Tree. Tree, tree, end. A very proper choice of a word. Green. That's it! The trees end here, says Matt. What do you want to do? Baby Bear sees a snake in the green grass. Let's slither like snakes, says Baby Bear. Matt and Baby Bear slither along the ground. Rocks. Right! Crawl. Excellent choice! Excellent! The grass stops here, says Baby Bear. What do you want to do? Matt sees a spider on the rocks. Let's crawl like spiders, says Matt. Matt and Baby Bear crawl on their hands and knees. Sky. I say, what a good word to use. Flap. A fine word for this sentence. 
The rocks stop here, says Matt. Now what? Baby Bear sees a bird in the sky. Let's flap like birds, says Baby Bear. Matt and Baby Bear flap their arms. They fly to the river. Sort of. Splash! Next time, let's swim like fish, says Matt. Yes! Brilliant! Another script ready to go! Party! That's it! Picnic. Every. Right! Today is Matt's party, and I can't wait. Everyone is coming, so don't be late. Bring a picnic basket, but watch what you pack. For this picnic, please put cheese in every snack. Like. A very proper choice of a word. Else. Excellent choice! Excellent! Which cheese do you like? Maybe cheddar? Is Munster okay? Or is Swiss better? Yum! Cheese sandwiches! What else did you bring? That three cheese salad! will make Maddie sing. Pizza. A fine word for this sentence. Have. That's it! Here's some cheese pizza. Do you want cottage cheese? Take as much as you like. Eat as much as you please. Are you having fun? Have you filled your belly? If you said no, have some cream cheese and jelly. From Getting I say what a good word to use. Under. A very proper choice of a word. I'm so glad you came. Wait, I just felt a raindrop. The clouds are getting darker. Will we have to stop? No way. Come join Matt under her mouse umbrella. The rain won't stop us. Try the fried mozzarella. Thank you, Rita. Those were some well-chosen words for the story. Just a couple more stories and we'll have all our scripts ready. Place. Excellent choice! Excellent! Fish. A fine word for this sentence. This place is no fun, says Spike. There's nothing to do here. Let's go fish in the river, says Matt. Yuck, fish are smelly, says Spike. But fish taste good, says Matt. I don't know how to fish, says Spike. Woods. That's it! We. Right! I know, says Matt. We can take a hike in the woods. Yuck, there are too many bugs, says Spike. But bugs are neat to watch, says Matt. We would get lost, says Spike. Swim. I say, what a good word to use. Cold. A very proper choice of a word. I know, says Matt. We can swim in the lake. Yuck, the water is too cold, says Spike. 
But the sun will keep us warm, says Matt. The lake is too deep, says Spike. Songs. Excellent choice. Excellent. Great. That's it. I know, says Matt. We can sing around the campfire. Yuck. I don't know the songs, says Spike. I don't know them either, says Matt. But we can learn them together. What a great idea, says Spike. I'm glad you thought of it. Nice work. I'm so glad you're here to help choose the right words. Swim. Right! Legs. A fine word for this sentence. Baby Bear and Papa Bear swim at the beach. Papa Bear sits on a raft. Baby Bear puts on a mask and fins. I see an animal with eight legs, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear dives into the water. She finds an animal with eight arms. It is an octopus, yells Baby Bear. Dives. A very proper choice of a word. Pretty. Excellent choice. Excellent. I see an animal that is purple and round, says Papa Bear. Can you find it? Baby Bear takes a big breath. She dives to the ocean bottom. She finds a purple round snail. Look, Papa Bear, it's a pretty snail says Baby Bear. Seas. That's it! On. Right! Now try to find an animal with five arms, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear looks through her mask. She sees an animal with five arms. It's a sea star, says Baby Bear. But it's stuck on the rock. Crab. I say, what a good word to use. Poked. A very proper choice of a word. Now it's your turn, says Baby Bear. I see an animal with a shell and claws. Papa Bear looks into the water. I do not see it, says Papa Bear. It's a crab says Baby Bear, and it just poked a hole in your raft. Help! yells Papa Bear. Oh, we've done it! Here's the final script we need for the show! Oh no! They did it! My plans foiled again! You may think I'm not so nice, but before you do, think twice and listen to this sad, sad song of mine. My grumpiness is only because I'm sad and lonely, because no one wants to hug a porcupine. I'm covered all with stickers from my feet up to my fingers, and when someone bumps into me, they sure know it. So everyone avoids me, it really does annoy me and makes me feel crabby, and I show it. Imagine what it's like to be someone prickly like me and have folks needle you all the time. <laughs> needle, get it? So I like to pop their bubbles and cause them lots of troubles cause no one wants to hug a porcupine. <gasps> oh my! Everyone is waiting for the show. Is everything ready? Yes, it is. Reader Rabbit saved the day, and the show looks great. But where's Reader? Welcome to opening night of the Big Wordville Show.
Papa Bear, Penelope Parrot, and Matt the Mouse are ready to perform. To see their act, just click on them. When you have seen all their acts, click on the curtain rope to end the show. If you don't know what to do, just click on me. And now, on with the show. Sir Lancelot, I am sending you on a quest. A rest? Great! Three months sounds about right. <laughs> no, no, I said a quest, not a rest. Oh, a quest? What for? Well, I've lost the key to my kingdom. I need the key to get into my castle. You and I are going to find that key. Well, why don't we find you a new castle? <laughs> Pick Papa Bear, Penelope, or Matt the Mouse to see a performance. Click on the curtain rope to hear our last song and end the show. Each performance has more than one act. So make sure you see them all. Professor, what do you get when you cross a clown with a goat? Hmm, a clown and a goat. Let me see. I don't know. A silly Billy! We start our quest in the forest. The forest? Mm -hmm. And together we can defeat the fire-breathing <gasps> dragon. Oh. Does this dragon have green scales and horns? <laughs> Why, of course. And together we can confront the big antlered moose. Uh, does this moose have big sharp antlers? <laughs> Here's a riddle for you, Penelope. Which side of a parrot has the most feathers? Well, let's see. I think maybe the left side? No, my dear. The outside! <laughs> in the park. Suddenly I feel a drop. Does that mean I have to stop? No, not me. I'm cozy as can be. Underneath my mouse umbrella. We hope everyone
everyone enjoyed the show. Thank you all, and good night. We did it. We worked together today. We never quit. No, not a bit. And put on our play. So now's the time to celebrate and say hip hooray. problem was me. But now we're all here singing. And I'm up in a tree. At first we were discouraged. And feeling so sad. But now we're real happy. And that makes me mad. It's teamwork. 